they came out of surprises and came out on the first play and threw the ball and threw for 18 yards, which was a, a surprise uh, and, and really negated the advantage we had ahead by uh, getting getting them deep. Uh, they came out and, and uh, showed they were ready to play. I think that uh, the fact that we had had the week off hurt us defensively. We didn't tackle very well. Um, we had them in third down and, and uh, six early in that drive, and we had an offsides and gave them an opportunity. Uh, and then after that, uh, we didn't show up to take the quarterback on the option, and the quarterback looks like he's out to practice early and makes the long run for the touchdown and puts us down seven to nothing. That's the only time they score the whole day. They have other times that they're close and they miss some field goals, but their first time out was their only score, and they got some big plays, and we helped them. Well, the Hogs got a big, big play on USL's kickoff, and Freddie Bradley almost breaks a return for a touchdown. He goes straight up the middle with a return to the USL 46. As he scampers, he'll bring it back 49 yards, and Arkansas touches the ball first. Great field position for the debut of Jason Allen at quarterback. Number 13, who describes his first pass completion. Well, that was a great feeling. That was a great feeling just to get the first pass completed out of the way, and then things just started rolling from there. And, and uh, that, But that was definitely a good feeling, first class. Watch this. Caldwell on a reverse. He'll pick up seven yards to the LSU 18-yard line. And then it's Allen back to pass, incomplete to Caldwell, but there's a flag on the play and pass Jason interference. Three-step drop, which is uh, something that he does very well, and, and they break on it quick and uh, get a pass interference call, which put us in good scoring position. We first and go to go from the six, and then we come right back and turn the ball over when we're actually fixing to look like we're fixing to break clean and make a run. But well, after a good drive, the Cajuns are forced to kick, and Michael James fumbles the first of four hog turnovers here. But terrific defense by Arkansas will keep USL off the board, and Baggett will have to kick it once again. James had been injured and missed a lot of practice during the week. Here is Baggett's punt, and it's going to be fielded very cleanly at this particular point by James. The Razorbacks can't sustain a drive, but turn the field around on this magnificent 83-yard punt by Pete Rather. His punt to Roberts at the uh, six, and watch him chase it back, finally picks it up. Great pursuit by the Razorbacks. Kennedy and Thomas make the stop. After a sack and an incompletion, USL kicks back to Arkansas. And this time, Scott is back at the Arkansas 14. It's a 36-yard punt. Scott returns it seven yards before being tackled the Arkansas 21. Allen back to pass. He'll find Lindsey as tight end. This is a perfect throw, 14 yards to the Arkansas 39 and a first down. Allen will then keep at right end for 11 more. And this is an outstanding run to midfield. The redshirt freshman back to pass completes it to Caldwell. Seven yards down to the 43. Allen again, back to pass, complete to Caldwell. This one good for 11 yards, down to the USL 37. It sets up a field goal. Todd Wright with the first of three comes in. It's a 27-yarder, a 69-yard drive in 15 plays. Seven to three at the half. Arkansas trailing, of course, Southwest Louisiana. And it was somewhat of a surprise, I suppose, to a lot of people, but a better football team than most of us uh, thought we were going to see at Razorback Stadium. Well, Ball has to be there when he comes out of the cut. And I think Jason anticipated the cut, let it go when his back was still to him and got, got the ball there on time. Uh, Tony was very hard to tackle in this ball game and then followed it with another one. I think that he really ignited this drive after Jason Allen's throw. Uh, he made two runs with, 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 missed, with uh, making people miss tackles, running through tackles. And then he ended with a, uh, a field goal attempt that was good. Uh, by Todd Wright. After Wright's field goal, the Cajuns couldn't move the ball, and Allen will go to the air again. He finds Caldwell, his favorite receiver yesterday, and it's good for 20 yards and the first down as we come near the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at it from another vantage point. Outstanding pass and a great timing pattern. We move into the fourth quarter. The drive breaks down, and Todd Wright is going to have to come on here as we move into the fourth quarter. 
and Wright will kick the third of three field goals that provided a 9-7 Arkansas lead at the time. Now a big defensive series to save the game for Razorbacks. This series, uh, with four minutes and 41 seconds left to play in the ball game, uh, started dangerously because on first and ten, here's Hayes again. I think we're getting our, getting our P's and Q's together on what it's going to take to control this guy. And he comes out the back door and gets nine yards and, and push it in second one. Now to have a second one is almost automatic. But the next three plays are the domination uh, of the defense uh, we want. I mean, a Razorback defense. And uh, it, it, it ended up with two losses and a fourth down uh, play where it was all on the line and uh, he didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. And I, I really am proud of our players for playing their best when their best was needed. The challenge for us after that was to keep the ball and to keep the ball, it came down again to some third down conversions and, and we put the ball in Jason's hands both times. The first time was off a deception where he's coming out with no blockers in front of him and he's got people in his face because it's what, what we call a naked and he's got an opportunity to get the ball in tight quarters to, to Kurt Botkin and he does and Kurt does a great job of extending the ball past the mark. There are not many quarterbacks or seniors that I believe I would have called that play with.